Hello students, in this video we'll prove the Borel-Cantelli lemma. So, the Borel-Cantelli lemma has two parts. It says, given events, A1, A2, AN forever, so I have an infinite collection of events, such that such that the sum of the probabilities of these events, n goes from 1 to infinity, of the probability of an is less than infinity, then if this is so, then the probability of this operator, this operator, the intersection n goes from 1 to infinity, of the union k bigger than or equal to n of a, K, this fancy set over here, the probability of this event is equal to zero. And this event is called the limb soup of the A, N. So in other words, you might see in some textbooks or some other notation that this thing over here is written as the limb soup as N goes to infinity of the sets A, N. Now, how can a, how can a, uh, how can omega be in this set? So omega is in this set, so omega is in the limb soup as n goes to infinity of a n, implies that for every n, this implies that omega is in the union, k goes from n to infinity, bigger than or equal to n, of a k for all, for all n. So in other words, let's think about what this means. If n was equal to a trillion, that would say that you're so omega is in so one of these sets A, K, where K is bigger than a trillion. Or if it was 100 trillion, then you'd be in A, 100 trillion. So in other words, these sets, these omegas, have to be in the tail of this collection of events, which means they have to be in infinitely many of these events. This, this is equivalent to saying, this is equivalent to saying that omega is in, is an element of infinitely many of the AN. of those sets. Okay, excellent. All right, so how do we prove something like this? So let's prove it. The proof is actually relatively straightforward. What can I say? I can say I can sh let epsilon bigger than zero and pick n capital such that if n is bigger than or equal to n capital, the sum for all, let's say the sum j goes from, j goes from, um, n to infinity of the probability of aj is less than epsilon. So for a convergent series, if the series is less than infinity, the tail of the series has to be arbitrarily small. Now, in particular, what can we say? We can say that r probability over here, the probability of the limb soup, is less than or equal to these probabilities for any n, right? So in particular, what can we say? So now, note limb soup as n goes to infinity of a n is a subset of any of these things, right? It's contained in, it's the intersection, so it's in particular contained in the union n goes from k, k goes from n to infinity, I'll say an m over here, a k for any m. Okay, so in particular, what can we say? In particular, the probability of the limb soup as n goes to infinity of the an is less than or equal to the probability, since it's contained in any one of these, it's less than or equal to this probability over here, the probability, the sum j goes from, in particular, I can choose an n over here to be my m, right, to infinity of the probability of a j, oops, just the probability of the, over here, of the a j, the probability inside of just a j, Okay, and then this, of course, is just the probability, this is less than or equal to the sum. Um, I have a mistake over here, so this is not a sum over here. I'm making it big sloppy. So this is the union, of course, is less than or equal to the probability of the union. J goes from n to infinity of a j, and that is less than or equal to the sum. J goes from n to infinity 
of the probability of the aj and that is less than epsilon for any epsilon so in particular it says the probability of limb soup is equal to zero great hence probability of the limb soup n goes to infinity of a n is equal to zero okay that's the first part of the broken tilly lemma so the second part of the broken tilly lemma says the following it says if part two if the ai are independent and the sum of the probabilities i goes from one to infinity probability of ai is equal to infinity, then the probability of the limb soup as n goes to infinity of a n is equal to one, okay? And the way you do this is you do this by considering the infinite product that corresponds to one, the, the complement of these a, a n's and show the complement of that product goes to um, goes to that product will go to uh, go to diverge to zero. So this is this is the condition that we use most often over here is that the probability when the when the sum of the probabilities are finite, um, then we know that the probability of limb soup is equal to zero. That occurs a lot in applications, in particular, it occurs a lot when you're showing that an infinite series of random variables converges. Thank you very much.